Hi, my name is Zach Henderson, and I'm here to talk to you how Catchpoint can help you find and fix your BGP issues fast. Now, BGP is a rather important protocol as it directly can cost you money. If users can't reach you on the internet, if users take a poor route to get to you on the internet, all of which BGP controls, you are losing revenue. And ultimately, this is a hard thing to optimize. It's hard to optimize how traffic travels around the globe through all the different networks of the internet. And also, this is also a rather big security concern where if your traffic from the internet is not going to your networks where you designed it to, that's a massive security concern that you need to know about and identify fast. The only way you can do this is if you monitor and fix these BGP issues before they actually impact your revenue and your security posture. Now, what do you need to look out for in general for a BGP issue? You want to look out for BGP hijacks, someone taking over your network. You want to look out there for route flaps, where traffic is flip-flopping between different networks, causing you know, connectivity issues, causing performance issues. And you also want to identify route leaks, where your network space is being advertised and leaked out to other networks around the globe, where perhaps it shouldn't be. And you also want to be able to understand and qualify that if you have systems in place like RPKI, that those security measures to help secure the BGP traffic is properly set up and is properly used in that infrastructure to mean that kind of support your BGP security. Well, you also want to make sure you're not relying on inadequate, misleading, or improper bad BGP data. There's a lot of information out there, and you have to understand that there are times all this information for BGP hijacks, route flaps, route leaks, it really does depend on having the right data at the right time to fix those issues fast. So very quickly, let's hop into the Catchpoint portal and see a quick demonstration of how Catchpoint helps you visualize and view various different uh, BGP issues. On the screen now, I have the Catchpoint BGP overview dashboard. This is a dashboard built to help you understand your overall network reachability, your overall hijacks from global vantage points, the number of neighboring peers to your network, and also the amount of prefixes being announced or withdrawn at any given time from different neighboring peers around the globe. This BGP overview dashboard is designed at a glance to see things very quickly. You'll see up top here, we're looking at the RPKI status for any of the prefixes we're analyzing for your network, the overall reachability as determined by Catchpoint's private BGP collectors, RIPE and route views public collectors, as well as hijack counts, neighboring peer counts, and prefix is withdrawn at a quick glance, all at the ability down to view this at a 10 minute, 15 minute, hour, and three hour frequency. A quick note here is that the Catchpoint data set, our private peer collectors do update in real time as opposed to the public data sources from RIPE or route views updating at either five or 15 minute increments. Now, a key thing here is that with large uh, internet networks, you may have one or multiple different autonomous systems that you want to see and analyze at any given point. The BGP overview dashboard allows you to see all of your origins, whether the ones that you own or ones that are being hijacked as determined by this red color here in our dashboard, and see at any given point all the different neighbors assigned to that origin. So whether you have specific networks or specific network carriers that you partner with, you'll be able to see at a glance the prefixes and networks out there that have a certain neighbor, certain ISP carrier partner, and understand how many network peers across the internet see that network and see if there's any changes in reachability or peer counts towards the individual provider. Now this type of analytics here, for an example, actually kind of highlights a very uh, simple use case of a hijack where a new network has been seen announcing your prefixes that you've asked us to monitor. And we can analyze this and say, uh, these two networks here have, have captured a single prefix you're trying to analyze and they're acting as a hijack, thus analyzing and seeing that there's one hijack seen in this data set. Now this can either be visualized here in a very simple table, or we can quickly go down to a map view where we're highlighting a region by region reachability issues, but also hijack counts to understand if a certain network peer in a certain market around the globe is hijacking your traffic. In this one example, uh, kind of a demo demonstration example here, we have multiple different uh, peers from all of our global vantage points seeing that that network 
is announcing a prefix that doesn't belong to your origin, therefore a hijack on a global scale. Now for a deep dive into this, to see those issues quickly and not just at this overview glance, any of these data sets here allow you to drill down into a very specific view per prefix with the different set systems. And so when highlighting and clicking into one of these results, at a quick glance, again, seeing BGP issues fast, you want to be able to understand the full routing table as seen by all of the 500 catch point collectors in this data set. In this one example here, we're looking at the reachability percentage for a slash 24 in the internet, analyzing and understanding the origin of that network, the prefix we're looking at, the reachability, and also the announcements and withdrawal counts at any given time. Now at the bottom here, we can zoom in on very specific timestamps and understand at any given point, what type of announcements or withdrawals we're seeing from the, the BGP collectors that we have information from. And we can very quickly highlight changes in network path where perhaps for the slash 24, a certain peer in the internet started to see a change in routes where getting to this network here, instead of going through ViewQuest through Hurricane, a new route was announced through Telex, through Singapore Telecom, and then through Singnet to reach the intended network. This can get down where you can compare and contrast your network routes and performance at any given point during this time frame. Now, why this is useful is you'll be able to identify and see the AS paths graphically and visually to see how they're changing over time, and also very quickly go into different visuals of this information to perhaps you need to see and understand for a certain network peer, how, what origin do they see for your traffic? What neighbor do they see? And how many announcements or withdrawals is that peer seeing for your network? And one of the most powerful options when it comes to analyzing reachability and how BGP routes are learned on the internet is this option of going into our BGP events where any of the announcements or withdrawals that we see, we will give you the exact timestamp that it occurred. We will give you the prefix that we saw, the next hop address of the BGP router seeing this address, the full AS path information seen by that router, as well as the full BGP community strings, which allow you to understand for different carriers, how they learn this route. Is this a regional route? Is this route that's being aggregated at certain points? Or is this a route picked up from certain parts of their network, for example? All key information that you need to understand when you're trying to figure out how a route is being announced, propagated, and aggregated over the internet. So when it comes to understanding hijacks, and availability, reachability concerns, this data set here allows you to look at your network at a global scale from all the different uh, public providers that Catchpoint has the peering table from, and very quickly isolate down to individual peers, individual timeframes within those peers to see how they learn their routes and how that routes on the internet are there and designed to get to your network. And very quickly, this BGP information does fully complement the Catchpoint synthetic network and web performance testing information. So you can actually correlate and compare any of this BGP telemetry to the actual performance of the networks of your infrastructure that are powering your web APIs and SaaS-based applications, for example. Now, with that brief demonstration of the Catchpoint BGP overview and BGP deep dive analytics, I just want to make sure that you kind of understand that this is something Catchpoint takes very seriously. We understand that for a complete BGP monitoring system, you must have more data sources, more networks, more real-time visibility. BGP hijacks and BGP reachability events, those can happen in an instance. And if you don't know about them, you may be left wondering, how is your traffic being handled out on the internet? And finally, you also need to make sure this is a service that's independent of your networks and of your infrastructure where it's built by experts and for experts. What we mean by that is this BGP data has to be actionable, it has to be timely, and it has to be understood in a way that you don't spend time trying to figure out what's going on. You simply use the platform to generate the active alerts and alarms and provide the understanding to know are you reachable is your traffic being hijacked or are you having any sort of uh, issues with your beach public BGP routes on the internet? So this quick demonstration, this quick kind of walkthrough and finding and fixing BGP issues 
fast with Catchpoint interest you, please reach out and try Catchpoint today at catchpoint.com trial. And thank you for the time. I hope you appreciated the video and take care.